it's offline. Yeah, that would make the most sense. And yeah, Beastmaster, I really like that just because of that a strong single target lockdown. That's kind of your, yeah, your, your trump card, if you will, up against the Bloodseeker. To just keep him in place if he's just diving into deep, just relying on his movement speed to get out of trouble again if, if he needs to. But if you just roll him down, then, remaining. well, you have plenty of time to, like, channel up a uh, Shadow Fiend Requiem, to get the Earthshake in position, to follow up stun, and then all of a sudden. Yep. Yeah, that's a good point. It's something that's not always apparent here for the Beastmaster, but yeah, but just having that extra flying wa moving ward on your team every uh, 40 seconds it is, with a 60 second timer and 40 second cooldown. Radiant team pick. Yeah, 40 second cooldown, 60 second duration. Uh, it is invaluable. Okay, so they're sticking to the guns here at the very least, so they are confident, if nothing else. So, yeah, but yeah, lean up against Shadow Fiend is a good matchup for sure for the Lena. Uh, you have the the easier harass just with uh, with the Laguna, uh, not Laguna Blade, the Dragon Slave. And Ten early on, you have the range remaining. advantage, you have the uh, right click advantage until Shadow Fiend gets a couple Five of souls up and running. Remaining. Reserve time. Lion. Dire team pick. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we we see the time time again in games in this in this meta game right now to have just a support here in the mid to try and help out. And in this case, Earthshake is kind of made for that. And later on, if Earthshake and Lion want to start roaming, then that's a pretty good combination as well. Earthshake just comes in with the leading stun with the fissure and Lion with the follow up, and whoever slain there ganking can provide Ten the extra bit of damage. Remaining. Now, both Beastmaster here as well as the Shadow Fiend right now can definitely do that. Five seconds but uh, early remaining. early on in game, I would say Winter Wyvern, uh, if that Winter Wyvern is hanging around the Lina just trying to keep her safe, team that's how uh, they can kind of work out, maybe. Yeah. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. <sighs> yep, and that's something that the Undying can Diet can do to you. I mean, just just put on so much pressure that you have to be. Have to just watch the lane that he's in with a hawk's eye and be ready to to kind of initiate, make sure that your own carry is safe, rather than just trying to cause chaos elsewhere on the map. And that's just one of the factors that makes Undying such a Radiant such a, a a hero with such a high early game impact. Yeah. Yeah, and so uh, they didn't really think too much about it after the Undying pick. It's also, of course, pretty strong up against all the Tombstone Zombies, just being able to clear them out uh, a couple of times. So it gives you just so much more extra time to actually Five focus on Tombstone remaining. down itself without having to worry about a million Zombies attacking you and bringing you down. Ten seconds remaining. Uh, maybe. Okay, no. Huh. Yeah, but I, I have to wonder if that's a little bit too defensive here. I mean, I suppose it's going to be a core on dying. Yep. Yeah. 
Ten seconds remaining. Right, we'll see if that works out for them as we start the game. So if you're just tuning in, welcome. If you're tuning in again, welcome back. This is the Joint Total League Playoffs. And the fifth, la fifth to last game, I think. So we only have a couple of games, best of threes left. Put this up. So it's gonna be four ASC on the Radiant side. Oh yeah, level one smoke. And they might find some isolated targets here down in the jungle. And that is through disruption into stun. There's an undying you can put a point in tombstone. Arctic burn as well. Doesn't see him yet. There we go. Now he's on the run. Nice wraparound here through the trees. And that should be the first blood. Yeah, there it is. Very nicely executed. That's gonna secure them. Not only the first blood, but also the bottom rune at least. So. Yeah, alright. Uh, we'll, we'll see about that. But yeah, with the first blood already being spilled, let's take a look at our lineups and how they shape up. Killer, that's gonna be once again on Blood Seeker. He's actually followed by Hef, probably looking to go back to top to help him out on the Winter Wyvern. Nova on the Shadow the Demon. Begins. Sanet, the mid leaner, once again, and Sherrod taking up the Undying this time around. And it looks like it's actually solo offlane? Well, Nova's probably just roaming around. Alright, and for side of four, you see, we see Nymphy here on the mid Shadow Fiend, or taking a little bit of harassment from the Arctic Burn in the offlane. We've got Trixie on that Beastmaster, or the Beastmasters, I like to call them sometimes. Boogie on the Earthshaker here. Valix on his support line, already giving up first blood. And Matuma Man on that one position gyrocopter. I mean, you have Lena there with level 2 already, so yeah. Is she, is she just walking straight there? Or is, he, is he gonna uh, wrap around? Yeah, there, he, he draws it. Yeah. He draws the line, quite literally. That's the plan. If Nemphi is just sitting up here on the edge, it's not gonna be safe enough for him. With the creep wave all. Oh, there's a little bit of harassment coming out. Oh. Yeah. Little bit unfortunate. He still gets the disruption though. Can Lena get in time for a stun? No. A little bit too far right. Yeah, half out of Arctic burn time though, so. Trixie just man moding. He does have uh dust of the boar. Not quite not quite now, but he does have it skilled. Try and help him out. Once he's probably going to level it up and then that can actually be super annoying for Winter Wyvern to deal with all alone. Uh, yesterday we saw, uh, I think it was, was it, uh, Cheshire Cat? Yeah, Cheshire Cat on Beastmaster here. <laughs> uh, leads like three of three heroes on, on the other side, just on a wild goose chase around the, the entire jungle. And kind of back to where he started from. It's kind of crazy, but yeah. <laughs> He's still tanky too, I mean. Yeah. Yeah, it's really hard to catch him in the first place, and he has boots, he has the board to slow you down. He also is quite tanky, he's sitting at 700 health points here, almost at level 3, and 5 plus 3 armor. This chair radar here does have one point up in the tombstone only, and one in the rest of his abilities here. I think they need some more help. Does Senate have a TP? No, it doesn't look like it. Oh, Trixie though, in the top lane now. He's taking a lot of damage, and that should be the second blood in this game. Killer. Yeah, he's fast enough, of course, with them bringing that down there. Uh, there's no disruption. Do they have enough follow up, though? Cherry is out of money. He throws the one more DK. Valix takes a li little harassment, but. Oh no, tower hidden. There's the rocket barrage to bring him down. So <laughs> that was not not exactly the best executed gank I've ever seen. It's it's also not the best heroes. I mean, both Shadow Demon as well as I'm dying are, are great at setting up these kind of team fights. But they're not really good at just bringing in the meats, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't really do any damage if... Whoa, -ho -ho! hello. Good catch, I would have missed that if it weren't for you. <laughs> so keep shouting out these kills. 
in it. Yep. That's Senate going down. He's uh, he's been doing well so far up against the Shadow Fiend. Oh. Uh, there's not enough mana for another rocket barrage here from a Tumba man, so I can't really finish off the Undying, even if it was off cooldown. But at least it zoned him out, he is out of region at this point, so he has to go back to base and give the lane over to Nova, who has to be careful himself not to get caught out. Speaking of caught out, there's Boogie here, sitting in silence with a DD boon as well as a Fissure at the ready. We'll have to keep an eye on that. Meanwhile, Trixie in the top just having time of his life, sitting at level 4 already. Creepy pushing out of this tower, so he's doing well. Yeah, that's. Uh, you can pick up a struggle boost right now if he wants to. But yeah, meanwhile, bottom is nothing really happening here. Is uh, AF not exposing themselves walking across that river line. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it just kind of feels underwhelming because sure, you have that combo with the Light Strike Array from Sanit, but that only works in the middle lane because Sanit is not going to start roaming around now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But there's the uh, the cool thing about the Shadow Fiend in this kind of situation. I mean, if, once he feels like there's any sort of pressure on him, he just turns into the jungle and let's keep it down. Meanwhile, the bottom here, Charity, man moving up. With the tombstone drop down, there's some teleport reactions here. It's gonna be half burn party down. Oh, can can really go for it? There's a slow ultimate tumor man, but does a decent amount of damage. Yeah, he still has a self, so he should be alright. Boogie just there at the right time every every single day. Alright, um. Yeah, Shiros, can you just check your in-game mic settings, because Dropper says he can't actually hear you. Oh, Matuma man. He gets the kill on to Undying. Uh, maybe just toggle it off and on again, that that's, uh, fixes it sometimes. All right. So if you're watching in-game, apologies. Having some weird Dota technical issues. As it's... yeah. Uh, those kind of bugs happen in Dota for the longest time, and sometimes it's really hard to actually recognize that. Recognize those. As Charida goes in very deep again, but it's isolated up against the rock bar. Shadow follow ups done. And it's him probably going down here. Is Yeah, one more right click should do it. There it is the south, not quite enough to save him. They will be able to get the tombstone. Yeah. We don't miss Shadow Fiend also died to Laguna Blade, one would imagine. Yeah, there it is. On cooldown, so. That's, that's a point where Lina just takes it over completely. Yeah, top lane. Bloodseeker goes for an ult on Beastmaster, right. but uh, they won't go for that kill. <laughs> he still had the Tracker Boots region going, so that level 1 rupture not doing nearly enough. Yeah. Shadowfeet has been really kept down the whole game. He doesn't have that much farm, he hasn't finished his threats yet, and probably wants to go for the mech for the team, so... Mech is really good all in all in this game because they have a Bloodseeker and in-game and you want to keep your team always on high HP so Bloodseeker doesn't benefit from the additional movement speed and the damage so Mech is I think the go-to item for Shadow Fiends first this game. Oh uh, yeah I would agree with that. I mean sometimes you see, uh, you see you still see that Yules build up come into play, sometimes you see Blink Dagger but mechanism up against the lineup from AF that especially up against someone like kind of dying yeah. You kind of want to have that mech, that's for sure. Oh, Sanit! Throws out the Light Strike Array, throws out the Dragon Slate, not missing anything, but... Uh, not hitting anything, but at least securing the rune for himself. There will be nothing else happening. Yeah. Jairus is farming, probably going for... Dominator, if he wants to fight early, he may go for drums. Always a good pickup. Bloodseeker wants to finish his um, blade mail probably, and then start roaming around, that's what Bloodseeker does. Just finish your item and then go for kills. Yep. 
and it would give some space to Nova here unless you want to roam around with him to just stick to the top lane and get some levels here, get some gold himself. He doesn't even have boots right now. He opted for the stick, magic stick first. Yeah, and Lina gets a kill with the haste run on oh, Earthshaker in the jungle. Beastmaster is level 7 now, he has roar up, means that now he can actually start moving on the map and getting kills. But Timberman already TP top to kill, probably the Bloodseeker, and there goes the roar. Roar, call down. Yeah, Rocket Barrage doing a little bit of damage, plus the... I guess got the rupture up, but yeah, what cost? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Oh, Nova actually takes so off. much damage from the creeps and the boar and disrupts himself, but it's only a momentary respite. That's another Rocket Barrage here and a couple of right clays, but Tomo Man gets a double kill up here. Yeah. They needed that Winter Wave in there. Dyer's top tower. Very good use of the roll here. Gyrocopter rotating at the right time to benefit from some early kills, and yeah, he's getting closer to that Tumble Dominator or whatever he wants to pick up. Sitting at 1800 gold now. Yeah. Line has ult up now, and they probably just want Line to farm up his Blink Dagger or whatever he wants to go next. So yeah, it, he has it's more probably ability. the Blink. Yeah. And Trixie working on Necro Books, as it seems, with the Step of Wizardy. Yeah. So he's going to stand at Zookeeper build here with the yeah. <laughs> Maxed Out Ball first, and then straight into the Necro Book. And the other day we, we saw. What's that? Y Lina finished her use up to now, means that she oh, yeah. actually can go for a lot of pickups. That is good, that is good. And definitely need her, need Sana to, uh, yeah, need Sana to start doing something right now because, well, Sana is the, the highest farmer here. Bloodseeker has been shut down, shut down a little bit here with that raw kill. And uh, they're generally a yeah, good offlane that Beastmaster had. Yeah. Well, the lion goes for a kill with his finger, first finger used on Undying bottom lane. <laughs> Shadow Fiend going for the ultimate on Lina. Oh, just he's winding uh, it up here. Just, uh, <laughs> spamming oh, his come on. <laughs> but he knows. He's making the ground shake at very least, but. Uh. Oh. oh. There we go. A little too late though. And doesn't get the full damage up on the thing, but Tumor Man, yeah, yeah, he was waiting for him. But. Doesn't get caught in call down, so no slow yeah. going towards, towards the Lina. I'm not sure if you should just go or wait. Yeah. It was a level 1 Requiem, so I, he was scared of getting killed after he... If he doesn't blow up the Lina, he just yields you and then goes yeah. for the Light String Array and uh, the Laguna Blade. Yeah. That is enough to bring any in, any Shadow Fiend down at this point. Yeah. Shadow Fiend working on his mech, so he almost has it. Another yeah. 600 gold. That's still decent timing here, even though he's not the... Not yet at that crazy level of farm that yeah. you sometimes you sh see Shadow Fiends be at. Like 2000 gold ahead of everyone else, but. He's, he's gonna get there if there are some more stacks going on. Yeah, that's true. Matumo Man bought the drums, so. More early fight potential. Good pickup. Uh, uh, I really like the drums on Gyra. Uh, just, just for the stats that it gives you. I mean, especially the mana. You run out of mana so freaking fast if you spam yeah. the Rocket Barrage as you should. Yeah, it's it's really sad, really, if you're the Gyrocopter player and you want to play Rocket Barrage but just don't have that enough mana. But yeah, that's a call down going down, that's the Black Hand 2, and Matsuma Man actually going a little bit too deep. Caught with the Winter's Curse, bringing down the <laughs> bringing down the zombie with him. And now, Valix, yeah, he, he'll be able to get out, or maybe not. Haste on Alina, Dodge the stun. dodges the stun, and follows up. Oh, nice Fissure, though. And that'll... Haste oh, has been nerfed. So, not long <laughs> range. Are fortified. Can't jump fissures with a haste rune. Yeah. Volvo, please fix. You should be able to leap over it, it's not that high. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Got enough speed. Oh well. So, Silent will not find anything just yet. He might find Shadow Fiend though, if Nemphy is opting to go to the high ground anytime soon, but. Yeah, Silent just... is sticking around. Oh. Might walk into Alex, yeah. but they know walk she's there. though, there's the Hex first, follow-up stun should be coming. Oh, maybe not. Just back off. Top lane though, I, I jinxed it. they are going for... They want to go for the Bloodseeker. So when well, Mods again smoked out, the creep ape is in, so they can die. Yeah, Bloodseeker so. TP's mid, just wants to go for the fight. Oh, Alex actually stunned up, mechanism from the Shadow Fiend, keeps him alive a little bit longer, but... He will still fall, he is lying after all, but at least. And top lane, least. Undying just dies to Roar and uh, 
which I got the rules. Okay. <laughs> I'm just saying, alright, if you can't get the Latsiga, just get everyone, yeah. anyone else that's up here. So, actually, good trade across the map, I want to say. I mean, Lion tanking up so many, so many uh, ultimates as well. That's true. Lion has. Oh, the Necrobook is up and he has 1100 gold, working his way to his blink. Yep. Yeah. It's 56% and win rate. And on bot lane, is in trouble, Ooh. tries to run away to be out, but uh, nope. Not this time, good pick up here for Sanna, that'll bring him just that much closer to his Agnum Scepter. Now it's yeah. halfway there with that pick up, and that's where the game maybe changes a little bit, because yeah, both Shadow Fiend and Gyrocopter will have to buy BKBs regardless at some point. Yeah, but even though the Lina ult is pure after the Agnum sense, he can actually nuke down one of those cores pretty fast. Oh, but Summer Man, Mighty Control here gets perched up, gets slowed down, and takes a lot of first time cheer from the Winter Wyvern, has to run away. But it's not quite that just yet. Mechanism will save, and Valix not so lucky here. Thanks out for Winter's Curse. There's a call down now to return. It's on three! But 4AC not quite in shape to fight. His Nephi now caught in the front lines here. That's the Blood Rider. It should catch him at the very end. No, maybe not! But he's dropped it up, so every step he takes is just so painful for him. Make it a 2 for 0 trade. Thanks to the tombstone and that big yeah. AoE. And 4C not quite ready to engage there. No. Oh, you can speak of engaging Yule Scepter up on the high ground. Oh, shaken. Takes the Light Rock array, but not enough mana left on anyone else. Yeah, Roar is still up on the Beastmaster, but looks like everyone backs off now. Yeah, it's so hard to find into the tombstone. They couldn't kill the tombstone fast enough, and then everything just went for. Australian finest way. Yeah. And this is a much better showing from them already here than in the last game. They they got a much, much better grip on the game now. That we've uh, come into 15 minutes as 4AC is nowhere near out of, as out of control as it were before. And it's mainly due to Shadowfee not getting the best lane up against Lina and yeah, Charader on the Undying. They kind of dropped around a bit in the bottom lane, but at least he was creating some space. Yeah, I'm dying working on his mech now. We really need a mech on their side as well to contest the team fight. Yeah. I mean, 4AC has plenty of AV themselves here between just the just the Earthshaker as well as the cooldown and the flat cannon. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, actually, if you just look at the vision for 4 ac they've not one, not two, no, they have three aggressive observer wards on die side of the map. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of crazy, this early in the game. But that's, for, that's what they always do, they they always put offensive wards yeah. down and just see the enemy's vision and their mm -hmm. movement. Yeah, it works for them, it's exactly their playstyle to just... Yeah, ha right have now. that vision and then just use it to just go super aggressive. Dyer's I mean, just farm the enemy jungle. Yeah, because why the hell not? Push the towers while you're at it. And I mean, that, that, if it goes into late like this and if it stays passive, Forest is definitely going ahead because they're just zoning the enemy out. They're farming the jungle and by the time they just get more gold. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, Sanat is trying to do the same thing, but he's it's nowhere near as efficient. Yeah. It's actually looking for the courier, it looks like, but it's a little <laughs> bit too fast. But yeah, hey, space created, top tier 2 falls, and yeah, they nothing really happened for him. Yeah. The creeper was trying to do its best, but we'll do a decent amount, but not quite enough to actually bring it down, and at the same time, tier 3 is now in peril. Yes. Yeah, there is no glyph. Mass teleports come back here, Ham has a Windows Curse, and that'll be enough to drive 4 AC back. Don't really want to run into that again if you can help it. Finally, first tower down. On 4 side, they still have almost every tower remaining, and Australian Fires only, only has two T2s left, which is pretty bad. It is indeed, and yeah, oh, Sanet, he's being spotted out by this ward. Does Beastmaster have a blink yet? Now, he did go for that upgraded Necrobook, so. Yeah. No catch potential just yet, but just knowing that Lina isn't really doing anything right now. Just gives you so much comfort and so much extra space to just do what you want to do. I mean, they yeah, put Valix on the bottom. They know where Lina is all the time. They know yeah. where she wants to go, so they just go on the other side and farm and just scout them out. Like yeah. you see now, the um, Beastmasters minions just scouting them, sees everything. Yeah. Now they have the initiation to go along with that as well. Valix just picked up a Splink Dagger, and that's where it can become tricky here for AF. If they are also alone, what's at all? Oh, oh Nephi! Oh! Gets a lot of damage on half, but there's a defensive disruption. 
Not be enough to actually save him. Doesn't get any spells up. And there's a blood right here. Should oh, Snowba. Almost side, but not quite. And now Nempi is the one on the receiving end of the Laguna Blade. Will die. But so will the tombstone. Nice roar across the fissure here. Will bring him down while Matuma Man clears up the uh, dying zombie. And Nova hanging around, just watching the slaughter from the high ground. Unwittingly finds himself staring um, down the face of a barrel, too. Are they going for Nina? So ah, don't think they can here. I mean. The Actually, going. they might just be crazy enough to do it. They yeah, have some minions to take the tower, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah Winter Wyvern didn't get his okay. Winter's that Curse off, fun. no Glimmer that's Cape, fun. he just died too fast, so without him in the team fights, they lack a lot of team fight control. Yeah. I mean, it's even worse than last time. I mean, last game they had Disruptor too, they had the Earth Shakers, but they had other, other options as well. They just ended up needing the Winter Wyvern because they were so far behind, but in this game, not so much. Sure, you have the tombstone, but it's uh, going to fall off almost exponentially here the longer the game goes on. Yeah, you have I to mean, it you just have to goes down the flat cannon. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, and you have the disruption, which is single target. You have the light struck ray at most two heroes if you're lucky. You really need that winter's curse to give yourself some space to actually line up all your spells correctly in the way you need to. That's true, SNY now on Gyrocopter, looks like they just wanna keep on pushing, keep the pressure up, early team fight, early Dying items. Yep. Not opting for any sort of late game build up just yet, just going straight for a Sanjin Yeah. And, and that, that's a very aggressive build, or can be a very aggressive build, because it, it's very cost effective in, in terms of what it does for you. Yeah. Let's check it now with this blink dagger. That's another huge pickup. So oh, yeah. now he can go for the big echo slams. Now they don't even need the blink on Beastmaster anymore. No, they have enough um, initiation. They have Lion, they have Earthshaker, and the raw has a fairly long range as well. So. Uh, do you think the Beastmaster now, after finishing up that Necro work, he, uh, he will probably go for Boots of Shovel next? And then into um, Axe, or...? Either Boots or Agonyms, yes. Yeah. Yeah, if, you, if you're not gonna go Blink, if you don't need Blink, then that's probably the, the best way to go. I mean, Boots of Travel, just to teleport anywhere on the map, thanks to your Hawks. Yeah, I even and have then, seen a refresher the axe. right after the Necro works. <laughs> okay. Who knows? I mean, double <laughs> Roars, it's pretty strong. It is indeed. Maybe can uh, drop her if you can look up some stats on item builds on Beastmaster. It would be interesting. It's probably just Necro Book, Blink Dagger, Axe, some of these items. Uh, he but, might go yeah. for a solo kill top on the Shadow Demon. Uh, I can definitely get that. There's yeah. the raw, there's the wind creeps. Uh, disruption. Does, does barely have enough mana for it, but three yeah. health points. Literally gets three health points in there. We got Shadow, De uh, Shadow Fiend, the mid lane. Goes for the Undying. Yeah, the follow the stun from Valix will secure the kill, but Valix tanks the rupture here, just takes yeah, a little bit of mana. He's pretty much dead. Actually all of the mana from a killer, so. And now in the back lines here, oh the turnaround, Santa walks straight into everything! Oh that's Boogie, does. the lockdown and Matumba man with the damage with the cooldown, rocket brush, everything. That was not yeah. ideal for Senate. No. Dyer's bottom. Now that opens up the CT. They, they they just have to go as five and get a good team fight off, even though they have the ages. They have to smoke up and just initiate on them with the Shadow Demon Disruption, good Winter's Curse, and then you have the Blood Seekers or Blood Rides. They can easily win a team fight if they manage to get the skills off. And that's a tall order though, because it's, if you group up as five up against a lineup like 4AC has, you have to worry about the Earthshaker. Sure, you just use his Echo Slam, so it's not going to be a worry for another two minutes or so. But yeah. you have that Earthshaker to worry about, you have the Shadow Fiend to worry about with this big AoE that he can bring to the table. Not to mention the Gyrocopter. And the line, you can even get a multi-hero stun if Alex is landing it up correctly, so it's it's really hard and it, it's always going to be very risky going for plays like that. Yeah, but that's then true. again, as you said, what else can oh, you do? Maybe try pick off here. What oh, you did? Missed stun. Oh no, Damn. Sanat. If I, knew, if I didn't know better, I would say he's tilting a little bit. He's still turning around Matuma Man trying to help out. Thanks for the rupture, but it's not going to be enough with the covering fire from Silent here. And if he got the revenge kill. But, yeah, they're not going to keep going for it. They maybe think there's more. Oh, there's actually more going on here. Yeah. On the oh, outside of Roshan. Vice gets the blink out, and then now oh, Trixie joined the party. It's down onto Chariot, and now IFK, uh, yeah, AF Killer. 
turning on the heat with the BKB. They should get Valix here in the end. That's, but that's yeah, about that's... all, apart from the Gyrocopter. Yes, Boogie is also able to top out as along with Trixie. That was really unfortunate. Lina would have probably survived there if she had just hit her life stack array up the use. Yeah, that was just milliseconds off, but that's, yeah. that can be enough in Dota. That can be the difference between a win and a loss, quite literally. Yeah, that's true. So, so at the very least, Bloodseeker does have the BKB, shows it off now, that was the 10 second charge. So can can this be enough for AF to turn this game around? Not I don't know, that, I mean if he pops his BKB, they have the Beastmaster to lock him down, even if he pops his BKB, he just roars him, and Shadow Demon can't disrupt him then, because he has BKB, so they can just nuke him down. So you have to be careful just going in like that. Yeah. And well, the beast the stuff happened to me. Oh, but the Echo Slam! Oh, yeah. damn it! The two supports with the Blink Dagger, that's... <laughs> you have to be careful. And there's a Blink on Trixie too, he, he opted for but that. The Glimmer Cave to keep half alive for a little bit longer uh -huh. and actually enough to bring him out back to safety. But, oh man. No, I, I didn't even see the supports in the back line, so the camera a little bit further man. across. He was ready. Yeah. Okay. 100% <laughs> win rate, so... Tiny sample size, sadly, but uh, three games. That's, that still says a lot. Yeah, and the question is whether whether these wins are because the Beastmaster bought the Necrobook and the Blink, or because the games were going so well anyway yeah. that he oh, could go for the, the oh, well, Jared, he's out. Tap does not still have the wind curse, but he's <laughs> he's opting to use the uh, the Golden Brace first to try and give himself a life killer. Now though, and oh, man fighting him, nice wind curse. Now about Tumbleman, man, he will go down. And now Trixie though, and MP still. <laughs> Left to worry about, they will clean house with the Necro Creeps and with just the pure right clicks that they bring to the in. table. Bye, come out from with the Wyvern, but without the Winter's Curse, Necro Trevor, that's gonna be enough. But they find Nevi here with the Mnemonic Village. Yes, the Aegis, though, will come right back into the fight. Meanwhile, outside, the, the rest of the supports as well. Strixie here battle up against Half and Santa, but Nevi pops the BKB. Fights. Now he's mad fighting. There's the raise and fall up. The stun here after the blink from, from Valix. There's a cold embrace, they wind up the ultimate and nice Yules just keep himself a little bit longer and making the making the fission miss at least but Trixie with a nicely timed axis will be able to clean up that kill. No disruption here from Nova, but you can only disrupt so many heroes at a time. I and mean, in this case it's not gonna the be the amount enough. of initiation and blinks for AC they have four blinks on their team, four heart uh, yeah, three heart yes. lockdowns. <laughs> Everyone's just blinking on top of yeah. that poor undying zombie, and now the Bible comes out I mean, from the side of the boss. It's all the boss who gets the enough. better initiation of him. 4 as he has so much initiation yeah. potential on them, and AF doesn't. They have the Yule Scepter and the Disruption, but it just yeah. gets counter initiated yeah. easily by 4 as Exactly, it's almost almost comical when the Senate or, or, or the Disruptor comes out. Oh, they, yeah. They, yeah, once again. Yeah. Just, just, just like that, I mean, Killer should, yeah, will be able to bring up, uh, bring down a gyrocopter, but he can't really fight anyone else. And MP is still here with plenty of right again. Drops the BKB, comes down. There's the Fissure. That's oh, the stuff to keep him safe, but just to keep him in place for everyone to catch up to. Oh, he He's quite fast though. Yeah. So now uh, FOEC decided to teleport out. <laughs> Valix. Just draining some mana in the enemy base <laughs> casually. Yeah. But yeah, that counter initiation once again, you, you saw it there too. I mean, Lina comes in, or this, uh, Shadow Demon comes in with that single target, and then all of a sudden, oh, everyone else on side yeah. four is. He blinks right on top of you, bashes your face in, and. Basically, I've only two potential game. initiations. There's only the Shadow Demon and Lina, and Winter Wyvern has to basically press his finger, his should be on the, on the ultimate button just to react instantly when they counter yeah. initiate. That's the only way to kill people, else I can't see them actually killing people with the Yule Sword or Shadow Demon. 730 move speed on Bloodseeker. Oh man. Yeah. That and is... Biggest issue is right now, even if Shadow Demon disrupts people, almost all of them have blink daggers, so they, if they are fast enough, they just blink out of the disruption. Yeah. It happened twice or th uh, three times in a row now. But but yeah, what do you think about this change about Bloodseeker being able to go past max move speed? I mean, 730 is kind of insane. I mean, he, he gets more than speeding ticket. He's gonna get locked up if, yeah. he, if he goes that fast in normal circumstances. Today. Uh, I, I, I just he was 
not overpowered. It's only op overpowered in, in pop games because it's unorganized and people don't know how to deal with it. But in competitive, it's another story. Yeah, we. S I mean, we see Forrest here. I mean, just dealing with him in the best way possible, and just don't we really deal with him directly? Just kill everyone else first, yeah. and then Bloodseeker just stands there and goes around, just like, uh, guys, what, what am I doing? I'm trying to help. I'm trying to help, but. As I said in the draft, I think, and he, he can only fight one person at a time. Yeah. Okay, get him a cape that Shadow Demon tries to catch someone off guard, but they are actually wrapping around. Oh, Trixie to find Nova here. He's gonna be a draw up. Tombstone is down. The Tomb oh, Man here caught with the Rapture. The oh, Nephi here blow, blows up Nova here with his curse actually on him. For some reason, I don't, I don't know how that works, but yeah, Killer is able to pick up a couple of heroes in the back, and Lina coming in from the other side. And now this fight is a little bit weird, but Killer, he's yeah. out of mana, out of life points. He is finished off by the finger of death, and now, for his forces consolidated, AF has to run the hell away. Yeah, that was Lotus off. Uh, I was wondering who the camp with us was coming from. <laughs> this was yeah. uh, Did he actually? Did he actually reflect the rupture? I'm not a hump, is sure. Uh, I'm not sure. I actually watched how Lion chased down the Bloodseeker. Yeah. I mean, I saw a gyrocopter with a Lotus Orb effect, and I saw a gyrocopter with the rupture. I'm not quite sure if that uh, Lotus Orb wasn't timed to actually reflect that back. That would've been hilarious. Uh, who knows? Yeah, I'm not sure. I have to watch it next time. Yeah. So yeah, with all of this happening, one thing is still going in AF's favor. They still have their racks. Gyro actually went for the boots of travel instead of the finishing his okay. BKB. <laughs> That's pretty confident. Yeah, it is almost too confident. I mean, uh, yeah, I was just gonna say they they haven't really brought down any set of racks. I mean, they've done yeah. quite a bit of damage to tier three here mid, not so much the top and not so much bottom either. So this. Beast the Hydra defense from AF than Gyro right now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh yeah, he is. Draft, okay. He is second. Oh man, not often that you see that, but not exactly bad because Beastmaster can do a lot with that kind of farm. But yeah, yeah it just goes to show how deep Gyro has been going all the time. How little he's, how little time he's actually spent farming. It's true. Radiant's Basically, just fought since minutes ten or twelve or even. Faster. Yep. Okay, now they finally want to claim their second tier one tower of the game. Uh. Looks like Forius he doesn't really care about that one tower. Just let it drop and split pushing top and mid. Looks like Valix is actually looking for someone to go back here. They might want to stop some TPs though with the lion wrapping around. But. Oh yeah, I'll check I'll just wait for the TPs and then engage. They will find them now. There's everything gone on Valix though. He has to stand and fight right where he is. Pops out the ultimate, but it's uh, not enough. Plan and yeah, didn't work out very well. <laughs> I mean, they got Mistakes the tier three almost top. Yeah. Is it really worth it though? I'm not sure. Because uh, with four EC being that far ahead, that net single kill on the support line is still the 1500 gold change in yeah. favor of AF. But yeah, this top will now finally go down with the next push. So at least they get that. And there's, there's actually a gem and an Akinim Scepter on the Shadow Demon. That is How the hell really did he get that much money? Huge. Like three purges in a team fight yeah. can do a lot there. Can lock down people pretty hard, the Gyro Shadow Demon. Yeah. We saw the pop up here from Drop Bear with the BKB times. And yeah, BKB is great and all, but even an 8 second BKB, if you're. If you're purged off, you're still gonna be pretty damn slow. And Nephi, he does need his mobility to go from one hero, one hero to the next. Also, another thing that I want to point out: the Lincoln Sphere on the Shadow Fiend. Have you, yeah, I've never I ever seen it. that. It's pro it's against the um, Laguna Blades. I find yeah. the Rapture. Yeah, it does make a lot of sense. But picking up on the Shadow Fiend. Yeah, I don't know what, I what else does give him a you know, mana region, I guess. Prefer yeah. to see it maybe on Beastmaster, but he went already for the Lotus Orb to yeah. kill the people, so. Gyro went now for a Helm of Dominator. I don't know if he just wants to go back to farming since he realized he doesn't have enough farm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that's an option, of course, yeah, but you don't actually see him. I, uh, you just have to. Uh, no, that's a ball. 
I was gonna say, you should probably find himself a creep, and if he doesn't want to stack with it, he can still just find himself a wolf key for the extra damage. Yeah. But yeah, maybe just, alright, I'm gonna burn it into satanic so I can stay alive in fights, and until then we're just gonna fight anyway, because, well, I went to uh, oh, oh, misses the fish yeah. actually, but the raw can't really miss that, so half will fall immediately. Disruption not there in time, no. Oh, they, they want to go in deep here. That's the, that's the call down onto Nova, but Disruption should keep Matumba Man from diving too deep. That will be that, but the push is still on. Matumba Man with the Aegis here. The Let's be careful not to trip it too early. Uh, the Fissure, yeah, that's a good high ground defense from AF. They have a really good lineup for that. And that's yeah. why A4EC have been struggling so far to actually get some objectives done now. Yeah, it just comes down now if they initiate and get one or two fast kills on AF, and if they don't have buybacks, it looks grim for them. Gonna go now, Lotus open tricks himself. Oh, the Lincoln's. oh no. Dodge Not the Lincoln's with the rupture. The rupture. Yeah. To my man, might go, no, he doesn't. He's still very low. Oh, Bui here though, sitting on the sidelines. Yeah. He's just waiting, waiting for some vision. Maybe right now, with all these creeps around there, that would have been a juicy, juicy target. But yeah, but they have no vision. Yeah, the two moments very low as well. I mean, sure, you have the ages, but you don't necessarily want to give it up if you can, if you, if you don't have to, like that. Okay, now he's trying to yeah wrap the hawk around so he gets vision. <laughs> Look at the courier. <laughs> the seven <laughs> selves. <laughs> <laughs> for Matumba man, just so you can heal back up. <laughs> that is ridiculous. <laughs> I haven't seen and that. We at brought all. our fountain well. guys. Yeah. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> a little bit YOLO, but <laughs> give some over to Valix to hold on to. So. <laughs> but yeah, now he's back up to full health. So now they can yeah, push, use that agents the... here in a proper way. And just that's a, just a slow siege. Yeah. Just keep on going, tower is almost down, Lincoln and slow to slow on Gyro and he can easily just go high ground. Yeah, Trixie's on the other side, split pushing, there's a call down onto Killer, slowing him down, keeping him away. Now the tower's down, the flag kind of keeping him out as well. There's the tombstone though, but yeah. man, dropping oh, low. Looks like they want to go or not. Ah, they're gonna come in. Ah, for you see, he's getting the hell out of there. They don't want to deal with the tombstone. There's the blood right also missing. Now, once again, yeah, slow siege, slow siege, as you said. And also, yeah. space created, Trixie, taking the top lane. Yeah, ratting at its finest. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's but working out for them. Cheating up again with those yeah. cells. And go for round number three or four. <laughs> Two stones still down though. Now it will expire. So if they go, if they want to go, then they should probably go now. Boogie still has that echo slam. And top lane again. <sighs> Trixie. Split pushing and hitting the melee rex. Yeah. Done it. I saw a couple of the gl of the glow cape though. Oh. <laughs> okay, <laughs> the no load is off. There's the roar and the light striker right there just looking at each other. But the creeps are doing quite some work and inside. The will fall. Uh, the bottom of the strategy. There's the echo snap onto two heroes. Nephew blinks in as the shadow demon gets blown up by the finger of death. Killer comes in, will get the trade on the earth shaker. Now man fighting up against Nephew here. Damage reduction will come out from that ultimate. Nice the is so low from that. Oh wow! The age is triggered here on the blade mill of all things. The shadow fiend has to get the hell out here. I've taken so much damage from that Laguna blade. Killer. Gets a down from that rocket. And the man man still going strong, himself. but now he's starting to be all alone. Valix doesn't have any mana to actually help him with. And now Killer has to rock away and uh, the cover of that blade mail, but that'll be that. They only get two racks, and those are the range racks. And of course, yeah. the melee racks on top as well. And this is pretty annoying for AF. They can't really go for a team fight because they know. 4AC is just gonna counter initiate and destroy them. Yep. And 4AC is just gonna stall siege until they lose all their axes. Oh, here they go now. Some man got to a rupture now. Pops another healing self. Teleport as well. Oh, uh, oh Valix. Yeah, Valix is like a bush lamp. He's. He loses the yeah. gem though. That is. Uh, that is actually annoying. Yeah. Oh, oh Beast man, they get it right back. Oh man. Jared actually saves it. No, never mind. Meanwhile, in the back here, BKBs are popped as Killer wants to bring down Trixie, but the roll will keep him in place for a little bit longer, and the min uh, all the Necro Creeps are bashing away at him. Yeah, Killer might actually fall here and not get Trixie. Yeah, yeah with Boogie here too. Boogie forces Trixie to get down Trixie for the count. Away. No buyback on him, and now Blink on the Shadow Fiend. He has on the cover of that BKB, and turns around and half with the 
Kalina being yoked up and up. Nice stun here though. And there are oh, turn around once again. Boogie helping out, creating the space. And Nephi turns around. He's pretty much low. He oh, will fall. But in what cost? He has inserted a so freaking low. Matumba man in the prime position to just pick up, pick it up both of them. And Boogie actually <laughs> takes a secondary kill. It's the third time he blinked in and saved and or killed someone here. Yeah. The, I mean, whatever buybacks AF have, they come out now and there's the tower still going down. That's the last one of Rax and once again. Oh nice dodge here from the from the Eels at least, so their ultimate from Nymphy. Well, Ineffectual at best, but at what cost chair right again. Under the cover of the Golden Brace will keep him alive a little bit longer. Same can be said for half who's just happy to fly over his own ancient to stay alive, but it's only a moment of rest, but here Boogie will blink in. Pop him on the head with that totem of his, and that'll be the GG. Yeah, for AF, it's just making the game impossible for AF. Yeah. They, they were just sitting behind the course, just waiting if anyone initiates, and then just turn the fight around and counter them. It was so hard for them to fight them. Yeah, some cool, calm, and collected uh, team play here from 4ASC, just utilizing their mobility, utilizing their. Yeah, the strength of their control and their team fight control. Very well, but yeah, AF with a better showing than game one, that's for sure. Yeah, Can't really they did very well in the beginning, but when the supports and...